Those god. terms were not used. We're not gonna set shame. Oh my god, you are so fake. It's unbelievable. <laughs> You're the one I'm gonna keep in my life. We get it popping all day and all night. No need for the pills because the thrill is still alive. The way that you move got me out of my mind. I put in work and you do the same thing. I swear the neighbors know both of my name. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Black and Yellow. And we're back with another one. Another banger, another day, another topic. <laughs> now, guys, as you can see, yet again, <laughs> we've got a third wheel here. Leave that alone. Somebody doesn't want to be put down. She's somebody good. loves Han. Yeah, because somebody made her get used to it. So I can't hold my door. See? You see? Once I can't but hold who's my door. holding her at the moment? Who's holding her? Exactly. This is why the channel ain't gonna ban because you bring other topics and stuff into it that ain't nothing to do with it, so I'm leaving you. So guys, the topic of conversation today, and I think this is a powerful, powerful topic, mm -hmm. and it is, are secrets ever okay in a relationship? Is it ever okay to not share something with your partner? Mm -hmm. How do you feel off the bat on that topic, babe? Um, from a surface level, mm -hmm. it's easy to say, well, no, your partner needs to know everything about you because that's mm -hmm. why you're in a relationship. You are one. Um, do you get where I'm coming from? However, I feel like with certain secrets, you do have to build up that rapport, that relationship, that communication skill. In and order that, to reveal, that understanding yeah. in order to sit them down and to reveal certain secrets mm. you know, where I'm coming from it's, and I feel like especially when it's secrets that doesn't involve you as an individual so for example like I think secrets where it's like oh you have an addiction to something or um, you used to have a past or whatever it is I feel like that should be known I feel like that should be expressed from the get-go whereas if it's secrets where it's like oh my family, family members, members yeah. are like this and things like that and you might feel the pressure from those actions from your family members and things like that but i feel like with that just call it a bit and just build up that rapport first no i mean i mean definitely like you know just adding on to the point that you just made Guys, there's things I found out about V, there's things we probably found out about me that if we knew from point one, point one we probably wouldn't be here today. Right. Um, I do think sometimes you have to be tr strategic with what you tell people. Um, you know, sometimes guys, treat the world, and I love this saying, treat the world for what it is and not what you want it to be. Mm. We all want... A world where everybody understands everybody, where nobody judges you, even the woman that you're dating or the woman that you're with. We all would love a world where no one has negative or bad mm. feelings. That but you would be a hundred percent yourself from the very get, get go. go, and it'll be accepted and appreciated and glorified. Like That's the it. world don't work like that. It's sad to say, but you do when you first come into a relationship want to put your best foot forward. Oh, and. I think that's the key word, your best foot forward. And I feel like, and I've seen this many times, some people come into a situation too honest. Now, guys, let me elaborate mm -hmm. on what I mean when I say too honest, right? If you've got some type of issue that is detrimental to maybe even the other person, they need to know, mm. right? You know, if you've, if you've got any secrets that could ruin the reputation of the other person they need to know so 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 yeah obviously those secrets need to come out right but when it's things like this like um for example i don't really talk to my family like me and my family don't have the best of relationships you know um this happened or that happened or you know what i'm trying to say sometimes guys putting that all on somebody when you first meet them mm -hmm. is very overbearing and sometimes it can make them feel like, oh, this is just too much. Like, this guy's got too much going on. Just or this drama, girl, drama, it's just drama, drama, drama. drama. I don't want this. Like, mm. you know what I'm trying to say? 
some of that stuff needs to be held in and maybe shared at a later date. Now, if you're an individual that, you know, you can't hold your emotions and you want to share everything and you want to be open, mm -hmm. you, you need to... Or you just need someone to discuss the, the situation, situation with. with. Maybe a relationship's not for you. Maybe you need to then sort yourself out, figure yourself out, mm -hmm. s straighten out areas of your life that are within your control and then maybe look for that partner. I find a lot of people look for relationships as a way... As, as a problem solver. Yeah, and as therapy. Yeah. Does that make sense? And it's yeah. not fair to put that burden on the other half at all. On the other person, 100%. So, you know, are secrets really needed in a relationship? I think, yes, when the relationship first starts. But I don't believe that when you get to the later side of a relationship, I don't believe you should have secrets. And we're not saying to deceive the other yeah. person either. We're saying... Certain things you can just be, you can just help hold it in. But if you, obviously, if they ask you and they're open to have those conversations with you, then, for example, like, oh, how come you don't talk to your mom? How come you don't do this or whatever? Then of course, express yourself because they are willing to sit down on the table to have that discussion with you. Hundred percent. So it's they're bad if they're not willing or they're not ready to deal with whatever 100%. that you're about to express. Do you know what I mean? But we're saying don't volunteer the information out right off the bat. Is that a hundred percent? Because they're not a therapist. They shouldn't be your therapist. A hundred percent. You know, and so guys, be careful with those individuals that, you know, they say like, well, from day dot, you have to accept all of me. Yeah. You have all to my flaws Yeah, everything. all my flaws, all my issues, all my... That is bullshit. And that's why a lot of those people don't end up in relationships. Is that, for example, you know, you get a lot of these young ladies that have baby father problems. If you're meeting a dude and you're telling him, like, yeah, my baby father always comes around and punches holes in my wall. Yeah, my baby daddy always do. You think... you Do you really think that he is going to stay around? Or he's going to be incentivized to want to really build a relationship with you. Unless he's damaged himself. Unless he's damaged himself. Save a hoe. Yeah. Yeah, but we, no one said no one's a hoe. No, I'm saying... No one said saying no... Saying no, no, but babe, no one said no one's a hoe. We're not going to no, bring those babe. terms in the video. Those it's terms... Saying. One it's saying. Not, oh my those God. terms were not used. We're not going to set shame. Oh, my God. You are so fake. It's unbelievable. <laughs> we're not going to set shame. Anyway. We're not going to use whole or any no, kind of demeaning terms. You can be a hoe. We are just talking about violent baby daddies. No. <laughs> That's all we're talking about. Violent <laughs> baby daddies. That's all we're talking about. Cool. Let me continue. Will that young man be incentivized to really want to build a relationship with you having all that drama around you? He might want to pipe you down. He might want to meet up with you every Sunday when you know his kids. He, he, you know his kids are back home with his baby mother, and your kids are off somewhere else. But is is all that drama really going to make him feel like there's a real safe future? No. Sometimes you need to just hold certain issues back and share them when those experiences and those feelings are more solid and foundational. Our opinion. What do you guys think though? Because I, we have a very, I feel like. We have very um, controversial yeah. uh, views on the world. And um, we probably will get cussed out. There's probably some yeah, bitch yeah. on Why there. Why would you hide secrets from your partner? Why would you hide secrets? Oh my God, you're not so toxic. Yeah, you're so fake. You're so fake. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll probably get called a simp. You'll probably get called a whore. Um, anyway, but what do you guys think? Just comment down below. Let us know. Do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? Do you have any secrets that you are hiding from your partner at the moment? You can tell us. You can tell us. <laughs> <laughs> tell us. <laughs> All right, guys. But yeah, we're out. Bye. Bye.